Today is Thursday the 20th of May, and this week we are joining with Christians around the world to prepare ourselves to celebrate Pentecost Sunday and asking God to empower us by His Spirit to be effective witnesses for Jesus. And as I enter prayer now, I pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter my scattered senses upon the presence of God. Creator God, who formed humanity from dust, breathe in me again. Revive me and sanctify me by the power of your Spirit. Set my heart on fire with the good news of your Gospel. I choose to rejoice in God's holiness today, joining with the ancient praise of all God's people in the words of Psalm 103. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart I will praise His holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Today I am reflecting on a moment directly after Jesus' ascension to heaven. I join the disciples as they react to the incredible sight they have just witnessed. Acts 1 verses 10 to 14 They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Those present were Peter, John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot, and Judas son of James. They all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. I would love to ask the disciples what they have felt as they watch they are resurrected from the dead. Teacher, leader, friend and saviour rise into the heavens from the earth. Perhaps they were confused. Maybe they were excited. Possibly they were afraid. In the middle of this unforeseen and monumental event, the disciples united in one simple action. They lifted their eyes, gazed into the sky, and were unable to look back. 
a whole body reaction to the wonder and the awe of the risen Jesus. When was the last time the wonder of Jesus provoked a whole body reaction in me? Is there anything in my life, perhaps my fear or worry, that lowers my eyes and prevents my adoration of the risen Lord? Jesus, I let go of those things which prevent me from adoring you with my whole body, mind and soul. Lord, I pray for my church community. Help us gather together, physically or virtually, with the same expectation that your spirit is present. Spark awe and wonder in our church communities. Help us to lift our eyes upwards in this uncertain landscape and adore you together, just as the disciples did. I name my church leaders and those who help us worship. Fill them afresh with your spirit, Lord. As I return to the passage, I open my ears to hear your word and my heart to yield to your will once again. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Those present were Peter, John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot, and Judas son of James. They all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the woman and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brothers. The word adore comes from the Latin word adorare which means to ask or to pray. After witnessing the ascension of Jesus, the natural reaction of this early church community is to join together in adoration, in constant prayer to God. After seeing the magnificence of the resurrected Jesus, they continued to seek him after his ascension on their knees. Lord of all, I come before you in adoration. No matter how I feel or what lies ahead of me today, I pause now 
to lift my eyes and my heart as an offering to you. And now, as I prepare to take this time of prayer into the coming day, the Lord who loves me says in the book of Jeremiah, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Father, help me to live this day to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, help me to give myself away to others, being kind to everyone I meet. Spirit, help me to love the lost, proclaiming Christ in all I do and say. Amen.